effective change management has always been an important element of the corporate treasurer's job. In Asia Pacific alone, we have seen a massive amount of changes with regards to the tax, regulatory and market environments that the treasurer now needs to consider that with these changes, what does it mean for their treasury and liquidity practices? As an example, with Basel III, where banks have to maintain a liquidity ratio. In Asia Pacific, where corporate treasurers need to maintain a cash buffer in order to take into account for any unpredictable cash movements and reduce bank charges. When you have Basel III, this really means that with, when banks try to maintain that uh, liquidity ratio requirements, the value of the cash buffers that you do maintain with a bank would actually be reduced as a result of a bank maintaining a liquidity ratio. Another example of where those cash buffers will also need to be reviewed is with the interest rate cuts that we have seen in the Asia Pacific region. In the past 18 months alone, we've already seen 25 interest rate cuts so a corporate treasurer really needs to take into account the quick changes on how a position or your cash position is maintained as a result. Aside from the implications of Basel III onto bank deposits, the other implication that we have seen on with corporate treasurers having to review their existing liquidity structures will be with notional pooling, which is a very common technique in order to manage a net position. And this is important when you have a global bank book to, to manage. With regulatory changes, tax changes, it is not just a restriction, there are also opportunities to be captured. Let's take, for example, the China liberalization and renminbi internationalization. So with this, it actually allows for corporates to integrate China, a very, very significant market for a number of companies, into global and regional cash pools. However, this is not a straightforward opportunity, and it does require partnership like with a bank like Citi in order to capture the regulations and implement according to what is possible at the time. So what does this all really mean? With all the changes that we've seen with tax, market and regulatory changes, it is important that treasurers maintain that flexibility, the nimbleness in order to change the practices as the market evolves or demands it. It is important then that a lot of corporate treasurers go back to basics with their liquidity management practices, look at physical target balancing movements in order to move the cash, review the cash positions and the necessity of maintaining those uh, cash buffers. All in all, it is important to also work with a bank like Citi with the extensive network that can be offered as well as a close connectivity with the regulators to keep you updated to the latest changes as they occur.